Booker, as you, as you saw Aggie Pride uh, when you were, were coaching uh, beginning in 1970, and you've seen the program evolve, how have you seen Aggie Pride evolve during that, during that time? It's, it's, it, it's huge. Uh, there hadn't been a lot of success previous to 1970s in terms of winning. I think the last winning coach was in 1915. Just to give you an idea, they hadn't won an outright championship in 21 years. And so we, we, we needed to change the culture. We, it comes back to people as well. You know, Bob mentioned uh, uh, Dick Lewis. Uh, Dick Lewis was our trainer. He was, he was a legend. He had a, he had a certain magic about him. He could put his hand on your shoulder and, and say, you know, I think that feels better. And uh, all of a sudden, the player is feeling a lot better. And, uh, and what Dick commanded in the training room was a huge part of our program. It was... Uh, you had to, it was about respect and dignity. So when you came into the training room, you couldn't bring your cleats, there was no swearing, and if you did, you were right out of there, which is what we were working to impart to everybody in the program. And, uh, and so, and the early people that, that, that was on my first staff, I think Joe Singleton and John Papa and uh, Phil Swimley, uh, Nils Mbukos became part of it, Fred Arp, uh, uh, Paul Hackett, uh, did a lot to help set the tone for, to get us started. And uh, so people, people make programs, and we've always had a lot of good people here, and, and we've had people with a good heart, and we wanted to recruit players that had a good heart. And uh, then we could have that trust and unity and togetherness that, that it took to, to win ball games. And we, we wanted to model after the, the best in the country, so... We, we went down to the Dallas Cowboys, and for 10 years we modeled after America's team, which at that time in the 70s was America's team. And uh, that was a big part of our program. And then we, we switched over to the 49ers when Bill Walsh took over, and that, I think that took us from being a good program to, to a great program. And uh, so we went around the country. Bob went to Chicago and Oklahoma and learned about the 46 defense, and, and we had the Dallas defense. And, and with the 49er offense and, and help from the Raiders. And we used the NFL as a, as a real uh, reference library for ourselves. So we were able to put it all together and, uh, and really progress in the way that we performed. And our, our, our motto really was that we're always going to perform at a high level. That, that's who we are. That's who, what our identity is, that every time we go out, we're going to be the best that we can be. We, we didn't come to be mediocre. We didn't come to be average. We want to represent the university the same as the College of Medicine, College of Law, College of Engineering, Agriculture, the wine industry, all the great programs are in the university. And I was finishing up a doctorate degree and I went around the country and looked at different schools and universities across the country and I came back to, to UC Davis and I thought, we've got a sleeping giant. This is a gold mine here. It's a sleeping giant. We have a great university. You know, all the people that are watching this broadcast and the ones that went to UC Davis and been a part of it know what I'm talking about. It's just a, it's a great place to be, and uh, I, I'm, I've been privileged and uh, had the opportunity to be here for 40-plus years, and it's been a great experience for me and my family. 